welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing Rangers' very, very impressive draw against Porto. Uh, I'll just get straight into this video. So the game finished, Porto won, Rangers won. Really good result for Rangers, very, very impressive performance, uh, particularly in the second half, where I thought our passing was really, really good. Um, I'll go through kind of what happened in the first half, second half, and, and I'll just kind of give my opinion after that, the, the game, how good a result it uh, actually was. So after a shaky couple of uh, first few minutes, kind of finding our feet a little bit, we actually played pretty well in that first half. Uh, four minutes in, Ryan Kent got the ball from a corner just outside his own box and he sprinted the entire length of the field uh, just about to break into the box. And to be, to be fair to the defender, he got back well, managed to tackle... Uh, Kent and he actually won the free kick as well because Kent actually uh, tripped him up accidentally. Uh, we moved the ball well in the first half, but we gave it away a couple of times. Uh, Morelos gave it away uh, just in the midfield where he tried to pass to Davis and it went through and they almost got a, a chance from it. Jack had to actually foul the boy and uh, we gave away a free kick which just went over the bar. Uh, Tav found herself in a bit of space on the right hand side about midway through the first half and I think it was just that thing where I, was, I mentioned in the last video where he tries just a little bit too hard and he, he just snatched at the shot a little bit then he get over the ball and I ballooned over the bar 32 minutes in and Porto came really close to actually hit the bar, uh, sorry the post uh, Zay Lewis uh, out jumped Hillander and I think that was the only time Hillander actually got beat in the air uh, and a header came off the post, unlucky not to score. And just four minutes after that, they scored. Uh, it was disappointing the goal, not just because of the goal, but obviously the way we conceded the goal. Uh, Ryan Jack tried to play to the defence, tried to uh, play a short pass to Kamara, and it went straight to their player. Unfortunately, it went straight to Luis Diaz, and he took one touch and curled an absolute brilliant shot into the top corner of the net. Uh, McGregor had absolutely no chance. Take nothing away for the finish. It was a really good finish, but it's really, really disappointing the way uh, Jack kind of gave the ball away. And it's interesting that there's no been this big backlash from Ryan Jack's mistake that there has been uh, for Tav, and I understand that Ryan Jack did actually go on to have a good game, and uh, in Tav's case, it actually affected the, the result. Uh, after the goal, it was actually us that started to pick up the pace a, bit, a little bit and uh, we played some really good football. Uh, we got a corner, uh, came swinging in and Morelos uh, was very close, hit the bar with a header, really good attempt. Uh, and no long after that, we got our first goal. Hillander uh, playing it forward. Felt like Kent who flicked it around the corner to Barisic. Barisic powered forward and put in an absolute delightful ball. Uh, for Morelos. Morelos takes one touch and flies it past the keeper. Uh, I really don't know what to say, but that, that, that ball was just absolutely delightful. Um, if you haven't seen the goal, go back and watch it. Uh, the ball from Barisic is absolutely pe pe uh, inch perfect, sorry. And he just takes out two defenders with it straight to Morelos' feet, who fires past the keeper. Really good finish, really good goal. So it managed to go in 1 1 at half time. And it was real pleasing because it felt like we had made a silly mistake, which we did, lost a goal, and we managed to get ourselves back on level terms going into the second half. And it felt like we could just kind of move into the second half effectively at 0 0. There was no pressure, I don't think there was as much pressure on us after the break, and we came out of the second half. When we came out for the second half, it was actually Rangers that uh, took the game to Porto. Uh, with a lot of possession, uh, we started creating chances uh, about five minutes after the restart. The cross came in from uh, Borna Barisic again, whose delivery was just on point the whole night. Morelos jumped highest, won the ball at the back post and forced a really good safety keeper. Morelos was unlucky. Uh, the BT commentator, I think it was Alex Ray, actually, former Rangers player, tried to kind of say that uh, he should have scored. I don't think that's the case. I think he did really well to get to it. And he was unlucky not to score. Uh, our passing throughout the game was really good. And I'll show you a clip of it a little bit later. 
uh, how good our passing actually was. Uh, one touch passing, uh, quickly passing move, and it was like Barcelona esque at times. Really good. Uh, with a free kick on the edge of the area, uh, right on the byline actually, and it got cut back to Ryan Jack. Ryan Jack just over the bar. Unlucky, it was a good move. Uh, something for the dra training ground, and it was unlucky that he just kind of, same as Tav, kind of didn't go over the ball and it went over the top. Unlucky. But 15 minutes ago, Tavenier had a free kick on the right hand side, curled it in, and it just evaded everyone. All it needed was a touch at the back post. Morelos was closest to it, I think. Uh, and that's a real good ball in from Tav. It's had a lot of criticism recently, and it was good to see him whip in a ball just like that. I just needed that a little bit of touch from someone, and we were unlucky not to score. Uh, Morelos had a real good chance. He, he broke away from the defenders, and I think it was Pepe, took him out right on the edge of the area. BB stepped up, and you were just thinking, watch this netball in a minute. And he was unlucky, just wide in the post. Uh, you're expecting another, another goal from him, uh, but he was unlucky on that occasion. Uh, five minutes from time, they actually started to come back into the match. Uh, Nakayama, the, uh, the Japanese player that I told you about yesterday, uh, crossed it in, found Suarez at the back post, uh, forced a really good save from McGregor. Uh, the ball fell back to Suarez and he knocked it back inside. And with the whole goal gaping, they took a shot. McGregor again put his foot out, stopped the ball. Amazing double save that kept us in the game. And that's the kind of thing that you expect from McGregor. Uh, but it's still amazing when it happens and you're just like, wow. How many times is he actually going to do this and keep us in a game in Europe, particularly? He uh, doesn't do it a lot in the league, but in particular in the away games in Europe, he seems to be just so alert to these things. And considering he didn't really have a lot to do in the match, which is bizarre considering how good Porter, uh, Porto actually are. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the game. As I said, I'll show you this little clip of the passing. I don't know if you'll see it on my phone because it tends to go a little, in a little small screen, but I'll show you it anyway. It just kind of highlights how good our, our passing was, particularly in the second half, where it was just like one touch passing to move it to difficult areas. And you'll see as the clip continues. Cut back and reaches a fortunate there. It's good positioning from Stephen Davis to make the interception, but then Kamara can ill afford to be caught in the ball and giving it away quite so cheaply. Rangers have done so much that's been impressive tonight. They don't want to. So there you go, and that's just one example that happened through it. That in particular, the second half, we just our passing was really on point. As I say, a couple in the first half, we gave the ball away. Jack gave the ball away for the goal. Morelos uh, made a slack pass that almost cost us a goal. Uh, no blame attached to him at all. It was just one of these things. Uh, Kamara had a couple of loose passes at the start Tav uh, got robbed of the ball very early on but he went on to have a, a, a really good game uh, in terms of man of the match it's really difficult I'm going to go for Hollander I thought he was absolutely solid as I say he got, he got out jumped for that one header and the only other time he ever got beat he, he was smart enough to take the boy down and get a booking for it uh, for obviously taking one for the team I thought he was outstanding obviously there are players you could mention, you could mention Davis, I thought he was outstanding. Uh, Ryan Jack, I thought was good, despite his mistake. Morelos was outstanding again. Uh, Bonabarsic had probably won his, be his best games in a Rangers shot. Al McGregor for that double save at the end was fantastic. Tav didn't hide. Uh, as, I, as I said, he made a mistake at the start. He got robbed of the ball. But he kept more on it. He put a couple of really good crosses in, including that free kick. Uh, Ryan Kent never stopped running when he was on. Brandon Barker was the same. I don't think Brandon Barker was particularly good on the ball with anything that he did, but it was just his constant running. Con he was a constant threat. Um, who else was there? Kamara, I think, made a couple of mistakes at, at the beginning and uh, kind of came back into the game. Uh, the three subs as well that came on was uh, Aribo, Arfield and Ojo. They, they came on and ran their socks off as well for the cause. I just think it was an all round, all round really, really good display. Kind of quite putting in words just how good this result was. Uh, obviously, it's only a draw, but it's an away draw. Uh, one of the toughest places in Europe to go. This this team were a Champions League team last year. They got to the uh, I think it was the quarterfinals and the round of 16 the year before. So they're a Champions League team. We went in our backyard and taken a point, and we probably could have won it. Obviously, with that Morelos header and other chances that we created throughout the night. 
Uh, delighted with that. We'll take it. Well, I think we're sitting second or joint second with Porto. Uh, and on to the next game, we've got three games left. Two of those are home games, which uh, gives me a lot of confidence that we can pick up enough points to probably get through. Uh, there were jinx that right now, but I'm delighted with that performance. So that's pretty much it for the video guys, thank you very much for watching, as I always say if you're new to the channel please subscribe, I know there's a number of people that watch the videos uh, and they didn't actually subscribe to the channel so if you could please do that that'll help out the channel, uh, I'm aiming to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the season which hopefully your helper can do that and thank you very much for watching again and I will see you in the next video, cheers guys.